Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, I'm, I was on my way to work and I had a little bit of a peek in the brook and I thought that's looking a bit better isn't it? So what I thought is I'll have a little bit of a walk over today and have a little look around and uh, I must admit it's looking so much more better than I've actually seen it before. Now if you see this bit of water here, right, you will never be able to see that and that tunnel there, I was never able to see that before because it's literally covered over with brambles and all sorts. However, I noticed that they've replaced all the fencing here guys, which is great but is also a bit of a negative for me because I was hoping that I was going to be able to get into the brook in this area here and walk it right up to the end of it where it comes to the A51 where it goes under the road and then it goes into the River Trent. Anyways, I've got to get myself to work and uh, wow, it looks busy already. Well guys, some time has passed and uh, me and Yvonne has literally just finished doing our Christmas shopping. It's been absolutely crazy today. You know, not only going shopping for ourselves, but actually at work today is, like, uh, you know, I've just been stood there like, I'll just wait for you to go. I'll wait for you to go. That <laughs> type of attitude. Well, I suppose it's a lot easier instead of getting stressed. But no, I've had a really, really good day. And uh, to be truthfully honest, I cannot wait to get home, get this shopping put away, sit back, relax, and chill for the rest of the evening. Oh. Anyway, guys, Yvonne's back now. Now, I want your perspective on this. Okay. Right. Do you think it's better to get all your Christmas shopping done earlier during the month or leave it right to the last minute? Because me personally, I'm sat there going, we've had plenty of time. We've had the stock in for ages. So I'm not... I think it comes down to money as well. When oh. people get paid as well. Good point. Some people yeah. get paid like the end of the month or a month, I should say. Yeah. Some get paid the beginning-ish, middle-ish. So, and then bills as well. Ah, see? Well, anyways, we're going to get on home now and get this uh, shopping put away and hopefully have a nice relaxing evening because I am so ready for chillage right now. Don't know about you. Definitely. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> are you a cute kitty? My God, guys, I literally just got to work and I looked across and I thought, there's a cat over there. So, as a cat person, I just have to say hello to it. Oh, guys, that was a surprise, wasn't it? Anyways, I, nearly enough, just had an accident on the way to work. And I'm like, what the flipping hell is going on this morning, right? I'm, like, looking at the cars. I'm looking at the road like you always have to do. And then, all of a sudden, this car wanted to overtake, like, three cars and a tractor. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? And then, all of a sudden, it just, like, came back in right in front of me. And I was like, well, okay, then. And then, the next thing I know is, is literally, we go around the island um, at... Uh, you know where St. Augustine's church is in, in Rugeley, you know, that, that those two islands there, two runabouts there. And all of a sudden, it just like cut straight in front of me. So it's definitely made me want to get a dash cam, guys. But anyway, it's absolutely freezing this morning. It's that cold that I can see that has been grip on the ground. And I came out and this morning, my car was covered in ice and it was just so cold. Well, guys, I've just done my first shift of the day. And now I'm on to do my second shift. Yvonne's already at work and I can't wait to finish the day, guys, because I've got so many things I need to get on with at home. And time is just slipping away. Christmas is around the corner and I'm literally starting to feel like, right, I need to make sure everything's done oh we've got a nice little bit of music here as well it's nice Nice for it guys and the best thing is is they're doing it to raise money for charity so what I'm gonna do is put a link in the description for the charity so you can send your money to the charity and it's really good to hear all these singings and stuff like that, especially around Christmas guys because it brings like the community together brings everyone together it feels it's just nice Wow guys what weather we are having today and I really really am falling in love with winter a bit more than I ever have done because I just love the effect that winter does like if you've got a little bit of like fog you know it looks great and the one thing I absolutely love is look at cobwebs in the in the actual like frost and everything just absolutely looks amazing but anyways this is a very strange day for me 
Yvonne is at work when she's not usually here on this day and it's like okay so I've got quite a lot of things that I'm looking forward to doing today one of those things is me and Yvonne after we have finished work we are going to Hensford and we are going to see the Uncle Browns at their uh, grave to be truthfully honest I am looking forward to it because I do like looking at graveyards and such like that and especially trying to look at all the stones and all the lovely details that have gone into making like the headstones well guys one more shift and then me and Yvonne are gonna be on our holidays and I cannot wait unfortunately this year I don't get to have the entirety of Christmas off because I'm back in on Boxing Day however guys next Christmas me and Yvonne worked out that we're both gonna be off for at least three days solid how cool is that gonna be well guys, we are now back at the car and uh, Yvonne's catching up with her bakery story there and I must admit, I must catch up with mine. There you go, that's hers there. It looks like it stopped raining just in the nick of time because uh, it's nice that I'm able to get my camera and show you around this area. Just notice, guys, there's a family just over there um, visiting their loved ones and that's the thing I was talking about earlier. You know, it's nice when people literally look after the graves and stuff because I'm looking here. There's quite a few graves here. It looks like they've got fresh flowers on and it looks really, really nice. And to be truthfully honest, if you don't look after the graves, nobody will. So they end up being rotten and those family members will end up getting forgotten in the end. Well, guys, looks like the uh, old decorations definitely need to be replaced. So we're going to give this a bit of a uh, TLC and then it should be all nicely done. And just like that, guys, look at that. That's looking a lot better and very, very festive, if I might say so myself. All right, well, I'm going to leave Yvonne to uh, say what she needs to say. And uh, I'm going to have a little bit of a wander around the graveyard. Now, I really want to show you a grave, guys, but I'm not going to put anyone's names on on my vlogs or anything because it's very personal to the family members. But I will say there's a grave here that I've just looked at. looks absolutely so tidy, so clean, and it looks like it is well kept, looked after. But, yeah, wow. I left Yvonne in the car because it is literally so busy here, and I want to get in there and get out. Now, the thing that I'm after, guys, is a bottle of Baileys. Now, I absolutely love Baileys at Christmas, right? I like to have a little tip all Christmas Eve, a little tip all Christmas Day, and a little tip on Boxing Day. And then whatever I've got left is I'll probably drink after that. That is me now done in Tesco's, and I just cannot wait to get home, guys. It has literally been manic, manic, manic all day, and I'm just looking forward to relaxing with a nice cup of coffee and maybe a bite to eat with Yvonne. What are you saying? I totally agree. <laughs> Guys, we've just got back and Yvonne told me there's something cute in the living room. Hey, hello there, boyo. And we have a little techie twos over here. You just chillage there, boyo. You just chillage there, boyo. Oh, yeah. So that's generally where they hang out. Now let me show you Dini. Hello little girly. Oh, you can't see it. There you go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why, guys, but every time I see a tree like that, I want to decorate it up for Christmas. But anyways, it is absolutely so cold this morning. The birds are out. It looks like a proper Christmas time. And look who we have here. Hello. <laughs> well, guys, I would love to say we're in a happy mood. We're looking ready for Christmas. But unfortunately, we've had a bit of bad news. Um, we noticed the last couple of days Lynx has had some issues with his front fang. We phoned up the vets yesterday and we're going to have to take him in today. We're going to be doing that a little bit later. But anyways, we best get into work and uh, hopefully uh, get this shift out of the way with. Guys, this view is absolutely awesome.
Do you know something, guys? The sky just changes so quick. I was hoping I was going to be able to get a bit of a longer video of the beautiful sunrise we've had this morning. It's like you would never know that there was a beautiful sunrise just over there, guys. But it's got really, really misty. They have said that we're supposed to be getting snow for uh, Christmas. However, I think that we're not having snow. We're going to have either, well, weather like this, or it could end up being just rain. Guys, it's just so foggy today, and it's really strange to think there was a clear sunrise this morning. However, it looks like we're not going to get snow, but I suppose this is closest to the white stuff we can get for Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm here waiting for Yvonne to get some medication. i got to say that we've just had a bit of an issue with the car. Um, didn't realise I left a light on inside the entire shift. Get in the car, go to click over, and my like, why is it not clicking over? And I'm like, oh no, my battery's dead. So I asked this kind couple, I said, I said, excuse me, can you give me a bit of a jump start, please? And they were like, yeah, yeah, no worries. So they came pretty much straight over, helped us out, and I was like, oh, I'm so, so blessed. Well, guys, it's that time now to take links here to the vets. I know, babies. I know babies, we'll make a move now. Wow guys, the traffic on the road today is absolutely crazy. A journey that should have only taken minutes took me at least 10 to 15 minutes to get where I am now. Now guys, playing the waiting game, and I must admit, I've got a perfect view here of uh, the railway bridge there, and uh, on the other side of this, this sort of wall here, guys, is the uh, Rougely Antlers. We have now found out what's wrong with Lynx. The um, vet has told me that his front right fang tooth is literally sort of wobbly, so it looks like he's kind of hit himself or something and is kind of lodged. But he also said it feels like it's going to like come out, so we've been told to wait, you know, at least two weeks. And if the tooth hasn't dropped out after that, it's time for operation. Anyways, guys, it's time for me to head on home and uh, chill out with Yvonne. And a glass of Bailey's is now waiting for me, so uh. Time to get on with Christmas. Wow, guys, it is so busy today for a Boxing Day. And I wonder why that is. Because many of the shops in Rougey Town and the surrounding areas are shut today. There is only a few shops open. Absolutely crazy. But anyways, um, I wanted to pretty much put this out there now that... I didn't do any recording for Christmas Day and the main reason I didn't record anything to do with Christmas Day was because that's the only day of the year that me and Yvonne actually gets to have together and spend some quality time. However guys, I will say I've had a really, really good Christmas Day. I literally spent the day, you know, having fun with Yvonne, you know, playing around, having a laugh. Um, and a lovely dinner. We pretty much had a good day and next year um, I'm hoping things will be a lot better because there's a thing that I want to do but I'm not going to say what it is yet but there's something I want to do around Christmas Day-ish that I would like to uh, be able to tell you a bit more about next year. I had some presents that I was a bit like, right, okay, this is uh, this is interesting. And um, One present I had from Yvonne was a book. There's something I want to get into this year is doing a lot more reading. I have to confess, I'm not really a big reader. I don't read so much, you know, things. I feel like there's a lot of information out there, guys, that I just love to share with you and tell you about and such. And uh, it might be a bit of fun to do so, kind of like a, a book club. <laughs> Unfortunately, me and Yvonne has to work this year at Boxing Day, but tomorrow and the next day after that, it's going to be nice because me and Yvonne gets two days off. So it's going to be basically catching up with this that and other and maybe going out somewhere i'm not too sure what we're going to do to be honest just have to wait until you see what yvonne wants to get up to but anyway i'm going to enjoy my break and uh, i hope you had a merry christmas and a cheers and a happy new year to all of you Whoa. i don't understand what's going on it's just so foggy oh crikey but anyway time to get home and chill wow Wow, guys, it is so foggy, isn't it? 
Oh God, yeah. strange person you Creepies, are. Creepy, <laughs> creepy. It's really, really freaky. And I just explained to Yvonne why you should never put your high beams on in the fog. And she was like, why? So I gave her a little example and it was like, whoa, that was really, really bright. It's crazily bright. But anyway, guys, um, I want to say, or I should say, we want to say a huge thank you for coming by. It really does mean the world to us. So thank you ever so much for coming by. But unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to love and leave you for this week's vlog. It means the world that every single one of you comes by. And I hope um, that you've had a great Christmas and we both hope that you have a fantastic new year definitely so stay tuned to next week's vlog and uh we'll see what happens then but for now guys this is where we're gonna have to never leave you so i want to say a huge thank you all for coming by it means the world again to us and always do your best guys to stay positive and scroll those negatives and we'll see you guys on the next one all right bye bye, -bye. bye.